For this install, you will first need to remove the intercooler from the top of the engine. There are three nuts holding this in place. These need to be removed. Disconnect the boost pipes by first loosening the Jubilee clips. The intercooler should then easily lift off. The engine cover is held in place by five nuts. These need to be removed. For clearance, the coolant reservoir must be loosened. It is held in place by two nuts. These need to be removed. You can now easily lift the engine cover out of place. We can now access the rail pressure sensor Remove the rail connector by pushing down on its releasing tab, then pulling back on the connector. Connect the factory rail connector to the corresponding plug on the supplied wiring loom. Connect our rail harness plug to the rail sensor. Remove the boost connector by pushing down on its releasing tab, then pulling back on the connector. Connect our boost harness plug to the boost sensor. Connect the factory boost connector to the corresponding plug on the supplied wiring loom. Connect the unit to the wiring loom. Start the engine and ensure the LEDs illuminate in accordance with the supplied instructions. Place the unit in the supplied protective bag. Route the unit and harness away from direct heat and moving parts. Secure the unit and tidy the wiring loom with the cable ties provided. Replace all removed engine components. If you have any questions, please contact us.